guys, so I thought today I would come and talk to you about something that I get asked about quite a bit, um, and that is going to be my hair color. Now I've already um, shot a video, of course, before about the, you know, how the process that I use to dye my hair, um, but this is kind of going to be about the pros and the cons of using a rinse. Um, in your hair and Manic Panic specifically because that's the one that I use. Um, now I've made a video before um, showing the process of adding, you know, putting the Manic Panic on my hair and I'll, I'll put it in somewhere right in here. Um, I don't have a jar with me right now because I used all the one that I have and I haven't figured out where the Sally's is in the new city so I don't have a jar with me but it's in that video. Um, so let's just get right into it. Um, I guess I'll start with what is a rinse. A rinse is a process for coloring your hair that only deposits color. It does not lift color. So it's only going to be as bright as the hair that it's attaching to. If you have jet black hair and you were to put the rinse on your hair that I use, you are not going to see a difference. At least not inside. You probably see kind of a tinted color out in the sunlight, but you're not going to see a difference when you're inside and that is because it only deposits color. So the brighter that or lighter that your hair is when you add the rinse, the brighter the rinse will show up. Um, my hair is bleached underneath this which is why it's as bright as it is. Um, the rinse itself um, is not very damaging to your hair or damaging at all really, um, especially Manic Panic specifically. Um, the, I bleached my hair once. Well, I bleached all of my the front half of my hair once, and then I used it again to do my roots once. And now I use the L'Oreal High Colors for dark hair to redo my roots. Um, but I redo my rinse every six weeks, um, and sometimes I even sleep in it because the Manic Panic specifically is very con it has conditioning properties. So I've slept in it before and washed it out the next day. My hair was soft. Not falling out. I've had no problems doing that. So, um, one of the biggest cons with rinses, Manic Panic specifically, it is quite messy. Um, anything that it touches, it is going to stain. That includes your bathroom fixtures, your countertops, the floor, the tile, your hands, your face, anything that you get it on, it is going to stain. Um, I'm, look, I have to tell people that anybody that asks me about my hair color and, and you know they're going to do this, be prepared for that. It is quite a messy process and it will stain anything. Um, what I do to kind of combat that is I take saran wrap. I saran wrap the entire area of where I'm going to be doing my hair. Um, and I do that so that if, because you, you know, drips are going to happen, you know, you have to comb it through your hair so like you know you may sling some down it's gonna get on stuff um so to help with that I use saran wrap um and I would suggest that to anybody that's going to use it because again it's quite messy um and that's one of the biggest cons another con um is that because it is a rinse if you wash your hair often and a lot you're going to be redoing this quite a bit. Every time you wash your hair, and that's with shampoo, that's co-washing, that's just rinsing it out with water. Anytime a liquid <laughs> touches your hair, the color is going to come out. So if you're somebody that co-washes their hair two or three times a week, you're going to have to redo this rinse quite a bit. I wash my hair once a week, and I can last about six weeks usually before it's washed out so much to where it's this weird strawberry blonde kind of thing going on. Um, but yeah, so because it's a rinse, that's where it gets its name from because it rinses out of your hair. Um, if you wash your hair a lot, you're going to also be doing your rinse a lot. Um, and I would say those are the two main cons of Manic Panic. Again, want, you know, to alleviate that, I use the saran wrap. And when it gets on stuff, when I wash my hair, I wash my tub because I usually wash my hair in the shower directly after that. I'm going to clean it then um, so that it isn't, you know, it doesn't stain. I also use products with bleach in them, uh, cleaning products with bleach in them, because I found that that helps in getting it up. Um, you can also use um, uh, the stuff that you put on your nails. Acetone. Acetone also will get it up, but acetone will peel paint and have to be a little bit careful when you're using acetone, but I found that acetone will get it up as well. Now the pros of using Manic Panic um, is that 
One, it is not as harmful as dye. Again, if you lighten your hair, you won't have to lighten your hair again. You may have to figure out a way to get your roots done, but you won't have to do that again. You can you just redo the rinse. Um, like I said, Manny Panic Berry Conditioning, I've slept in it and washed it out and everything has been fine. So I've had no problems with that. Um, if you're somebody that gets bored with your hair um, and you like to change colors up, again, if you, you know, once you rinse out the current color you know you can go back in with a different color depending on the color sometimes that might make a weird combination um but there's plenty of videos on youtube of people have figured out how to get as much of the color out as possible so that they can go in and um do a different color um so that's another pro of using it manic panic specifically has a lot of colors that you're not going to find like in a permanent dye. Um, if you're like into like really alternative, if I didn't have to work, my hair would be purple and I probably would have tried blue by now. But um, given my profession, that will not be happening anytime soon. But if that is something that interests you, um, again, Manic Panic would be good for you because they have a lot of unnatural colors. Purple, green, orange, just all kinds of colors. Um, and they, you know, I've seen people do some really amazing stuff using Manic Panic. Um, but again, it, it it's at its best when it's on hair that's been lightened. And they even have their own um, bleach lightening kit, which in my original How Did I Bleach My Hair video, I showed the bleach lightening kit from Manic Panic because that is the one that I use. Um, and I think that is about it. Um, I've been using it for over a year. I love it. I don't see me changing it anytime soon. Even with as messy as it is because again, anytime I wash my hair, I'm having to, you know, make sure that I go in and clean up because it, you know, it washes out and so then my tub is pink. The roof of my car, when I wear my hair up in a puff because my hair has gotten so long and the puff is so big now, the roof of my car on the driver's side, it's pink. Um, if it rains and your hair gets wet, you know, you're going to be dripping pink stuff or whatever color that you've used. So, you know, it is kind of messy. It's kind of messy and it's a bit of a commitment in that way, you know. Um, but I love using it and I, you know, I don't think that I'll be changing that anytime soon. So, um, I hope that answers questions. Um, like I said, my hair color is something that I get asked about the most. Um, both online and in person. Um, if there's anything else that you would like to know um, about using a rinse or manic panic specifically, you can leave them in the comments down below or shoot me an email. All of my information is always in the description box. And that is going to be it for this video. Um, so I guess until next time, I will see you later loves. Bye.